Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I am back with another card using the Concord and Ninth Over the Rooftop stamp set. This time I am putting my own spin on this. I have made lots of colorful houses and I'm going to create three mountains um, with that spinning wheel behind it. Uh, so for this one, I'm going to talk you through how I'm putting everything together. I did go ahead and put the houses together off camera just to save us some time because those are very detailed. They do take quite a bit to put together. It's lots of little pieces, but I think the end result is just oh so worth it. I am completely in love uh, with all of these little houses. So I will list for you all the colors that I have used on my blog post so you'll know exactly what I put together to create all of these uh, little colorful Christmas houses. I am starting here by adding the two sections of my sort of road and then sidewalk. And I just layer that right along the bottom of that cutout mountain, working my way up from the bottom up. And then I will place my three houses right on top of those. I'm gonna line up my spinning wheel behind there. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of my mint tape to make sure that I'm keeping that centered and straight in place because I have got two more mountains that I'm going to add off to the side. So this is gonna fill a five by seven card. This is a little larger uh, than the previous one or the sample one that I created um, in the Just the Cuts video for you. Again, layering down that road with a little sidewalk above it. And then I've got one house on each of these mountains off to the side that I have completely put together. And because I was only gonna have about a half a house or really it's almost like a third of a house uh, sticking off to the end there, I just added in one more color and I didn't add any details to that, which sort of gives it a look as though, you know, the scene is fading off. I'm actually really happy with how that turned out. So again, gluing all of these in place, I have lined up my mountain there behind the first one, making sure I've got that in place where I would like it to be. And I'm leaving just a little sliver of space between where my house is gonna start and where the edge of the other mountain is because I wanna make sure that that wheel is gonna spin really easily. glued down. And I'm going to do the same thing with the opposite side. Again, starting with my road and then my sidewalk. And then I will line this up behind the center mountain and get everything spaced out how I would like it. So you'll see on my wheel there, I have gone ahead and I've used both a light blue and dark blue cardstock for my day and nighttime scenes. And I did use the um, snow stamp that's included in with the matching stamp set. And I have stamped that out using some Versamark ink and some Simon Says Stamp Fine Detail White Embossing Powder. And I did that same thing on each side of the wheel. Now I'm being really careful to try and visually line this up so that my sides are even. You will see uh, when I finish the card, it, although it looked right, um, just eyeballing it, I, I do have one that's slightly lower than the other. I'm all right with it. I actually think it probably looks a little better having it slightly off, um, but it was not actually my intention. So again, they're lining everything up and I'm going to leave just a little sliver between the house and the edge of that mountain there. And I will press that into place and then I can go ahead and move that front mountain and I'm gonna trim the excess off of the side of my panel. And this is just a, a panel for the card front. Again, trim to five by seven. I'm 
now we can start lining everything up for that really fun interactive day to nighttime meal. So again, I'm lining up my center mountain and I'm gonna slide that wheel underneath. I wanna make sure that where I'm gonna place the brad is gonna be completely covered by the mountain. So I'm just lining everything up here. You also wanna make sure that you don't have any of your daytime or nighttime peeking up. And once I'm happy with that layout, I'm gonna hold that wheel in place and I will remove the mountain. And then I'm gonna use a pencil to just mark that center hole. Then I will grab my pokey tool and pierce that. I'm gonna grab my brad, any old brad will do. I'll first stick that through the wheel and then through the hole in my card and then fold down the edges. Double check that that's gonna spin all right. And now um, I'm gonna add my sentiments. There are a few different sentiments included. My favorite is the Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. I think that just looks perfect with the day to nighttime change. And I'm just going to put these on alternating sides. So daytime it'll be reading on the left and nighttime it'll read on the right. Now we can get that top mountain put into place. So I'm going to use some of my sticky thumbs pop dots. You don't need a ton of these, you just need enough to keep that mountain stable. I'm going to do one on either side and actually having those side mountains helped me uh, really easily place those in the corners to give this a little bit more stability. And then of course I did a row along the bottom. Just making sure that that's going to, again, line up the way that I want it. And I thought here for a second I would put one more um, smaller one, but because of my sentiment, it just was not going to spin properly. So I'm going to add a few underneath there. And then I will peel away the backing and press that into place. I just realized there my camera was a little bit crooked. <laughs> so I'm fixing that. So now you have a straight on view. And again, lining this up. And I'll just press that down. I'm gonna add some of these little snow banks to on the front here. And then I will add two along the sides on the other streets as well, just to give us that nice snowy scene. And I did alternate those so that it gave some variety. And just add a little art glitter glue and pop those down. Now I've got to get my little turn stamp and this part makes me so nervous. Every time I do it, I'm so afraid that it's going to smear 
or not stamp properly and you really can't add this stamp until you have the wheel in place um, so there's no getting around it you just have to practice and trust yourself I do sometimes do a um, I'll put another piece of paper down on top of it and stamp it just to make sure everything looks right before I actually place it down on my card front now I'm gonna stamp this joy sentiment I am using some hero arts unicorn pigment ink and I am very, very lightly tapping that. I'm going to do several different passes with it because I don't want to smush too much on that stamp. I just want to get the outline of that joy nice and clear in white. The nice thing about that banner is if you do make a mistake, you can always cut out another one, layer it on top, and stamp it again. For my inside sentiment here, I am using an older stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. It is called Gifts of Love. Just a simple Merry Christmas sentiment. And I did use my Intense Black ink for that. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my panel glued down to the front of my card base and I'm being very careful to get glue all around the edges so that it will stick nice and tight but I'm not going anywhere near that broad. I want to make sure no glue is going to be anywhere near that and that way it'll spin with no troubles at all. And I will grab my insert, add some ATG to the back of that, and place that on the inside of my card base. Now I did realize at this point I had forgotten to add my trees to all of my mountaintops, so I cut out a few of those. I am just using a little dot of art glitter glue and I will get all of those into place. And that really does add a little extra something. All right, and now a look at our finished card. I think this is so much fun. The interactive element to spin it from night or daytime to nighttime. I've got some dimension there with everything. I had so much fun putting this together and I'm completely in love with those little houses and all the great detail that you can get. Here are a few close-ups of the finished card. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I've used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.